In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate where a mass will stop that is sliding along a semicircular track. The question reads, place a mass on a track made up of a flat section that's two meters with a coefficient of friction of 0 0.10 and two frictionless semicircular surfaces of radius one meter. Let the mass start from the top of one of the semicircles and calculate where it comes to rest. Now, since the mass is starting at the top, it holds in it potential energy. And potential energy can be calculated using mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the height. Now, this illustration helps us out a lot because, as you can tell, if this is a semicircle, you see, think of this as a semicircle, then the radius serves as the height at which this mass is falling. So I'll replace this h with the radius that was given in the question as one meter. So I have a mass that is unknown, so I'll leave it as m, times the acceleration due to gravity, that's 9.8, times the height of one meter. Now remember, that's 9.8 meters per second squared. Multiplying all of this out, we should end up with 9.8 m as the expression that represents the potential energy. And remember, since it's potential energy, the units for this number, had we been given the mass, would be in joules. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't really affect the outcome of the question, but it's interesting to know. So once this mass reaches the area where there is a coefficient of friction, that energy will dissipate into doing work to overcome that friction. So it will go into the work required to overcome the friction from here to here. To represent that mathematically, we can write down that the potential energy is equal to the work required to overcome the force due to friction. Remember, work is calculated using force times displacement. So F times S or F times X, whatever you choose. Breaking this expression down further, we have force, which can be calculated by taking the mass times acceleration, in this case the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, the acceleration due to gravity. So work is equal to the mass, which we don't know, times 9.8, and we will multiply this force to the coefficient of friction, which is 0 0.10, and that's represented as mu in this illustration, 0 0.10, and that will be multiplied to the displacement. It's represented as S here, but I'll use X because it's more common. So the potential energy will go into that. And let me replace PE with the expression we found earlier. Now what we are looking for is X. And from here we can start to cancel things out. 9.8 and 9.8 cancel. M and M cancel. This leaves us with 1 on the left side and 0.10x on the right side, dividing both sides by 0.10 to isolate for x, we end up with 10 is equal to x, or 10 meters. So we're expected to calculate where it comes to rest using the energy that it holds being up here. It will come to rest in 10 meters. So one round, a second round, three rounds, four rounds, and then five rounds. Therefore, the mass crosses the friction area five times and ends up at the edge of the friction surface opposite from where it started. And there you have it. Now you know how to tackle questions where you have to calculate the place a mass will stop along a semicircular surface.